series. This is all set up, and that is how I'm going to hold it along the form. Then I'll be rotating it using this. So after one section is already set, the cover that is required, I will move it. And then it depends also with the roughness of the surface, how it is. So I'll be changing on these plates so that I can have one form for its position. So what is that process? Presetting. That is called presetting. You get a gem that will be in a rugged position, rugged nature, but you want to form it in a way that it will be appealing to the customer or the buyer. So one of it, give it a face by forming it well, then it will have added value to it. So I wanted to make maybe some, um, the called, um, yeah, but you can also have earrings, you can, yeah. you can have uh, the, the Necklace. rings, necklaces. Yes. So this is what we call value addition. You see, like the additional miners, miners here, yeah. when they go, they just dig up a huge soil, they will get something like this. It is what you mean for this. Then when you go like this, you might sell it to these other people for very little money. But when you subject it into what you call gemstone value addition, you use this to polish, you use it to make into salad shapes, the value goes up to how many times? Tenfold. Tenfold. That's what we call value addition. So when, it, when they just get something like this and they go, it is rough. It's like value addition is simple like this. You go uh, get your maze, Okay, plug it and you go to sell green days. But another one gets 10 shillings. Another one, the same maize, they just put on a jiko, they roast it. They stand by the door, they roll and sell it for 30 shillings. So roasting becomes value addition, which raises the value of that maize from 10 to 30. So probably. <laughs> You train the students to do this. By the time they live here, they can be able to make the different shapes. Yes, they're supposed to at least get uh, that tree in which they can do something with uh, this machine. And are the machines available locally? Because yes. that's the other challenge where you can go have the skills, but are you able to set up? Because I'm, I'm looking, if a student graduates, can they set up their business? Can they get this and just set up their at the event, we only have this, and then we avoid, uh, we avoid gemstone as well as the center. They have the number also. Yeah, but they don't, they, 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 they are not available to them. They are not important. So that's a private entity. It's boy, a boy, oh, it is. Yeah. Boy, it's a bit expensive, but it's available at the gem center. So you can go there. So, oh, okay. But uh, some of our students, our graduates, are the ones who are learning voyages. But tell us anything. Is this anything on the mining? What what else do you teach? Uh, is there anything on the extraction processing? How do I? This is just one element which is not common everywhere because tensions are rare. But the mining side of it is what you see in the other parts. We have the uh, because mine will be more simple, but whatever we're going down to get something uh, work well. So that's why we teach soil mechanics, rock mechanics. Now, you need them to set out the infrastructure, the heated oil, airport, even the SGR, but you also need them for the mining sector. Because if you look at what is killing the mining sector in Kenya and Africa, we have land disputes. Mm. People complaining about dispossession of land, their land. Mm -hmm. And when you go underground, when you are tunneling for underground mining, you also need precision. Yeah. How do you determine your location precisely? So this one is what we call electronic theodolite. It costs around 100,000 Kenya shillings. So this one is for measuring angles, for example, if you want to rent a road or a tunnel. Like now you see it is reading about 4 degrees. So that means we are almost in the north-south line. When it is zero, zero, it is north-south. So this one is even more expensive. 
a a tipo alugou por um milhão a por um milhão this is called a total station and we also got this through that funding and this one is an improvement over this many years ago so we are only used to this one but this one cannot measure distances it only measures direction now this one called total station What is the spoon? What did you want to tell us about the spoon? <laughs> <laughs> the spoon is less part of the cluster. In other words, you are saying you are able to do to, to make a spoon. And you are soon we can come to buy this, isn't it? Yeah. Which you are making here. Yes. And that even the steering of your car, mm -hmm. they can just mold and replace it with here. But the critical thing is even aluminium. Uh, is uh, is a product a byproduct of mining. Yes, uh, what is it? It's a product. How would we get it to, to this before you mold it? Is it out down there? Yes. It is in the form of so we have aluminium ore. ore. It's an ore. Oxide. And the ores are mined. Yes. 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 So what is the difference between underground and surface mining? <laughs> what, the the same way. what we saw there was surface mining. Yeah. Yeah. But underground, you dig shafts yeah. into oh. the ground. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've finished here now. Let's go back to the <laughs> 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 <laughs>